Hello, my friend. Uh, this is actually a take two again. Um, for some reason, my phone was acting all weird as I tried to uh, s s do this video. So anyway, uh, a mentor of mine shared something with me, uh, I think it was last week, maybe the week before, about the only way to fast growth. And I wanted to make sure you were aware of that as well. I wanted to pass that on to you. And uh, what he said was, the only way to fast growth is to be outside your comfort zone, to get outside your comfort zone. And, you know, uh, last week I had an opportunity. I was um, asked to speak and MC Hanji. I was asked to MC a, a business uh, conference, a business meeting uh, in front of people from all over the country. And um, when I was asked to do, to do the MC work, I said, well, I'm not just going to do it in some boring, drab way. So long story short, I put together this this video, which everyone raved about, and uh, I came out, and those of you guys who know me, you know that I am a musician, but I'm not a lead singer. Well, I went out in front of all these people in a business setting, and I sung uh, the theme to Love Boat with some different words that were more apropos to the situation, and... People loved it, and it was great. It went over it went over fine. But the key was I grew in that moment because I got outside my comfort zone. You know, uh, my buddy Victor used to always say, you know, you'll never know how far you can go. No, until you, I don't know, let me say it right. You can never go too far until you know how far you can truly go. Hey, Eric, you know that quote from Vic, right? Um only those who are willing to go far, too far are willing to are going to find out how far they can go. Man, it took me a while to pull that out. Um, Jim Rohn says it a different way. Jim Rohn says that don't wish things were easier. Pray that you get stronger, you get tougher, that you grow, that you grow into a situation. You know, a rubber band pulled is never of the same um, size after it's been stretched. So be willing to stretch, to get out of your comfort zone, to get to the goals that you've set for yourself. You're not gonna find them with the same old rut that you've been in before. You gotta get beyond that. Pray for direction. As you learn these things that we've been talking about, as you plug into a DMO, a daily method of operation, that will get you to a point where you can take advantage of some of these things. Well, understand that the DMOs of the people that you're emulating to reach the success you, you strive for are probably different DMOs than you have right now. I love this mindset. I want to leave you with this before I jump off of here. Have your DMO, here's the talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Have your DMO to the point where when someone says, hey, you, you know, this guy, you, Ma'am, you were a success. You reached your goal. And they ask, they ask, well, what did she do? Or what did he do? And they say about this about you. Well, you did this, 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 and this. And the person looks back and says, well, of course they were successful. Anyone who did this, 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 and this would be successful. Here's your goal. Here's your challenge. Here's what you need to do next. You need to figure out what that this, 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 and this is for your goal. If it's a physical goal and you're following someone who's a physical trainer, find out what their true method of operation is and emulate it. It will get you outside your comfort zone. And remember, that's the only way to true success, fast success. You know, um, if it's business, again, learn as much as you can about what they did to achieve that success. And then you'll be able to get that same type of success if you're willing to follow those steps. A guy by the name of Peter J. Daniels, you've heard me talk about him before. He says that one of the things, he's a billionaire out of Australia. And one of the things he always talks about is that if you want to be successful, read bibliographies. And the reason he says that is because in the reading of a bibliography, what are you doing? You're learning about someone else's DMO. You're learning about what led them on the path, what got them out of their comfort zone so they could create the success that they were looking for. I encourage you to find that that border of your comfort zone and step beyond it and you'll find that's the key to fast growth. So 
As always, inbox me. I will send you the top five books you should be reading right now. I hope you're having a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.